Que la que hay, what's poppin' mi gente? Thanks for tuning in to the Maria Isa show here on tuvisioncanal.com. We are reporting from San Francisco, California, showing mad love to the Latino community that is supporting as well, showcasing food, music, sports, and all that good. We're gonna take you to visit our good old friends at Borinquen Soul Food Truck, the one and only Boricua food joint in San Francisco that's bringing it to wherever they can be mobile at. Let's go get some grub on, okay? Palante. Straight abuelita style, traditional abuelita. It's marinated, just delicious. The meat, you can taste the sofrito, you can taste the ajo, the arroz, not mogollao, not too hard. It's perfect. I mean, coming back, I grew up with a lot of chefs in the kitchen, like my abuelitas, my dad. This is real Puerto Rican food right here in the Bay Area. De verdad, ciento por ciento, Boricua. Originally from New York City, um, been in the Bay Area going on six plus years, and basically this was our brainchild. Just came, just came from the need and the yearning for our culture and our food. And uh, me and my business partner, we talked a lot, and we were tired of complaining. And so let's come with a solution, and no better solution than do it ourselves. And that's how we came up with this brainchild, our little baby here called Borinquen. So we do it more obviously for the people and, and making sure that they understand what Puerto Rican culture is and, and bringing it to the Bay Area. But at the same time, it's just for, for us as a, our individual selves, um, having this touch of home uh, makes us a little less homesick. What's well, definitely something that you feel that uh, makes people feel at home? What's that special plate of your guys? Man, definitely the Arroco Gandules, you know, it, it, it has a, a big significance for us as a culture because we typically eat that with a holiday. So anytime, you know, it's, it's May, you can come and grab Arroco Gandules. You kind of feel like it's a holiday, a celebration. So definitely that rice, man. You know, that rice takes a lot of time and love to, goes into that. And um, the acapulia kind of blew their mind when they had the acapulia. They didn't even know. They didn't know what hit them. So, you know, those are some of, the, some of those secret weapons that we use on our truck to draw people in and let them know this is authentic, this is the real deal. No doubt. Well, it definitely captures that abuelita soul, that, that, right. that abuelita's right. kitchen, man, you know? Yeah. And uh, it definitely makes a, a proud Hibara, <laughs> <laughs> Hibara feel at home in the Bay Area. So, we appreciate you uh, yeah, for being you. on the Maria Issa show here on tuvisioncanal.com. And we look forward to supporting and collaborating in the future for our Boricua gente. Appreciate that.
for three years and I've been with the band for almost the whole time. Uh, we just won a Grammy. Yeah! I know, it was amazing. Exciting! I know. Awesome, you it, his, off all the big guys. Right. You guys deserve it. Historic first uh, uh, in the Tropical Latin album category. And so, you know, since that, that was just in February, January, February. So since then, you know, we're getting more gigs. We had gone on tour last year, our first tour. Um, and we're just pushing, you know, to continue to do stuff. But the other thing is we're local. So, uh, you know, when we get a call, like we got four days ago, right. to fill in for Eddie Palmieri, whose wife is very ill, yes, and yes. we hope she gets better. Definitely, um, prayers. We, you know, we were able to do it. So. Wow, awesome. It's great to see that, you know, the Bay Area's got so much flavor, Latin flavor. You know, I'm Puerto Rican from Minnesota. So, nice. you know, we have small numbers, but we come and support too, so it's great to feel that vibration here in the Bay Area. Absolutely. Tell us a little bit more about the, the Puerto Rican, the, the Latino community here in the Bay Area. You know, it's amazing. It's different from, say, the East Coast because we don't have that many Puerto Ricans. We're very Mexican, very uh, Central American, South American, right. as opposed to Caribbean. Yes. So uh, our, our leader, Cristian Tumalan, is the Guanajuato, Mexico. Mexico, yeah. Right? We got a Venezolano, we got a, you know, uno de Tijuana, awesome. um, Peruano, a lot of Peruvians in the salsa scene here. It's so it's just sort of interesting to see, like, the difference with the East Coast, where you got the Cubanos and the New, yeah. New Yorkinos. Yeah, and Dominicans, yeah, yeah Dominicans, a little bit right. Afro-Latino, more engaged. So it's a different feel, you know, but, but we have a long history of West Coast Latin jazz, West Coast salsa. And the other thing is that we're, we're like a family and it's amazing I mean all of us are you know I'm a band leader a lot of us are band leaders in our own right and so we know how hard it is and if you can imagine yeah 19 pieces I, I, and to so have moved. this success <laughs> and I've been in other big bands a lot of us have been in other big bands right none of us have been in a big band like this awesome well so. thank you once again it's thank great you. to see you Pacific Mambo Orchestra here at Jelba Buena Park Gracias. thank you thank you, thank you.